Welcome back to Latino TV, where we celebrate life with sabor. Our next profile features one of the world's foremost pioneers in tattoo removal. Que no se confunda con un médico estético, he doesn't even remove the tattoos himself. But when Jesuit priest father Greg Boyle found himself searching for the best ways to serve his hard-hit East LA diocese, his answer was Homeboy Industries. Father Gregory Boyle, best known as Father Greg, has long been an advocate for at-risk youth in Los Angeles. But before he gained national recognition for his work, Father Greg was on a much more simple mission. I worked in Bolivia and I was kind of converted to the poor by working with the poor and, and so I wanted to, that's what I wanted to do and I ended up being sent to that community and then brought me to work at Dolores Mission so I didn't really seek it out. But then you know, the decade of death was really 88 to 98, where we really had a lot of uh, death and shootings, morning, noon, and night. You had two choices. One was to bury your head in the sand or roll your sleeves up and start working. So we decided to work and to respond as best we could to this very complex social dilemma. In an effort to address the complex social dilemmas he was faced with, Father Greg developed a program aimed at finding jobs for reformed ex-gang members and removing the ink that binds them to the street. Homeboy Industries is the largest gang intervention, rehab, and re-entry program in the country. It was started uh, 23 years ago. Uh, in a small community in Boyle Heights called uh, Dolores Mission, the poorest parish in the city. We did a lot of things, started a jobs program in a school and tattoo removal and added businesses and now we're this quite large operation. Tattoo removal was born when a guy came in named Frank two days out of a Corcoran State Prison and tattooed on his entire forehead, you know. He said, you know, I'm having a hard time finding a job. So I went and tried to find a doctor who would remove this and I did, who gave me one hour a month and he would use the laser machine and start to remove it. Pretty soon I had a waiting list of 3,000 gang members who wanted the same service. They feel good. They feel like it's a clean slate. They can start all over again. Part of the thing is if you listen to people and respect them and receive them and return them to themselves by telling them who they are and recognizing their own goodness and gifts, well, people come alive, you know, when you do that. My hope is that you get to a place of all hands on deck. Everybody needs to step forward. Nobody should disqualify themselves. We do that all the time, we disqualify ourselves. And I think this place is a reminder that, you know, this is a human issue, it's a human dilemma. It requires a human response. And you know, if you have a pulse, you, you pretty much can contribute in a, in, in a positive way and be a beneficial presence.